It was a somewhat minuscule love triangle from the Goblet of Fire book. Harry likes Cho, who likes Cedric, who likes Cho in return, but Cho kind of has a soft spot for Harry. So who did she actually want to be with, Harry or Cedric? Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times, when only remembers to turn on the light. It's no secret that Harry had a huge crush on Cho Chang. He would gaze at her at every chance he had, and she did catch him once or twice. Cho did like that Harry was very fond of her. She also believed he was a lovely person, and was always nice to him. Yet unbeknownst to Harry, Cho was romantically involved with Cedric Diggory. Although it looked like it was early days, Cho seemed quite interested in Cedric. But I believe Harry asking her to the Yule Ball slightly turned her head. Although she kind of rebuffed the boy who lived, as she was already going with Cedric, she did gain a little soft spot for him. After all, Harry was the most famous wizard in the world. Who wouldn't want to be romantically involved with him? But Cho wasn't about that. She liked Harry for the person he was, and not for his fame. However, she also really liked Cedric. She spent more and more time with him. He was intelligent, good looking, and the Hogwarts champion. She did care for him deeply, but there was something about Harry that intrigued her. I believe Cho did feel guilty sometimes when looking at Harry in that light. However, she had decided that she was with Cedric and that was her only intention, until his untimely death, which pretty much changed everything. Because you see, it reveals that this interest Cho had in Harry was a lot more stronger than we first thought. It's why she struggles with her grief. Not only is she heartbroken over Cedric's death, she feels tremendously guilty for ever having feelings for Harry in the first place, yet she still has them. And when she finally succumbs to her will and kisses Harry, it's no surprise she's upset. She's still loyal to her dead boyfriend, while giving in to the temptation she had for Harry while he was alive. I also feel it's the reason she was quite paranoid or possessive of Harry when their relationship began. She had already lost one boyfriend and didn't want anything, whether it being someone or something, getting in the way of her relationship with him. The most strenuous point coming when Cho wanted Harry to stop seeing Hermione, which is the point Harry knew the relationship needed to end. In conclusion, Cho wanted both Cedric and Harry, but at different times. She respected what she had with Cedric, but always wondered what if when it came to Harry. Cedric's death in fact had a detrimental impact on Cho's relationship with Harry, and it was her fear of losing him that in the end cost her the relationship. That's all for today's video everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video then please make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps the video out in a great deal. If you feel that my channel is worthy of your subscription then please make sure to click that subscribe button. Thank you very much again for watching and I hope you all have a great day.